Hello everybody, it's Peter, it's Peter the Rock, it's Sunday the 14th of April, here is an owl. I'm in the infamous or famous Chorleywood House Estate little uh, wooden sculpture park. I'm not going to spend long here and just have a look round because of a favourite sculpture which I haven't really described for a year or two. Um, there's a pond in the middle which looks rather disgusting stagnant, full of algae, not sure what waterway, if any, feeds into it. Um, they said the Thames was bad, but that looks a lot worse. But what I'm going to have a quick look at is this statue in front of me now. You can see the back of it, and it's, uh, <laughs> it's well, I'll, I'll describe it when we get there. We're just coming round to the front now. And um, it's one of my favourite statues of all time, little known. You rarely see people in this little sculpture park, wooden sculpture park or whatever. But of course, as luck would have it today, you do. Now here he is, his full, his full magnificence. Um, this, he looks a bit like a flower pot man, but obviously he's a, He's designed to be a man of a certain age. He's holding a book open, which I think the Statue of Liberty does, with the, uh, the, the date 1776 in it. So if we see if there's any date in this book. No, there's a sort of attempt at some sort of, a, some sort of writing. But um, this is a marvellous statue. I think there used to be a bit more of it. Whether uh, it's been weathered or not, I don't know. It reminds me of a very good friend of mine. Um, oh, look, there's a heron up there on the end of, a, end of the pole. A very good friend of mine called John Woolley, because it looks a bit like him. John Woolley, unfortunately, passed away at the beginning of COVID. And um, he, was, uh, he was an artist and a chess player. Perhaps an artist first, because... Chess players can get very competitive and they like to do well and improve whatever age or ability they are. They get, they get a bit sulky when they lose, that sort of thing. Uh, John wasn't like that. He just played the game for the artistic um, result, artistic merit, and um, would like combinations. He didn't even mind if he lost or, you know, if he was winning, he didn't mind if he drew, that sort of thing. So <clears throat> that was quite, that's quite rare in, in chess. Most people are quite competitive, and uh, I don't know who sculpted this. I'm sure he didn't know John Woolley and never heard of him. But uh, he used to look a bit like that, minus the flower pot hat, of course. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, no, it, it, it sadly passed on, much missed, and um, uh, he, he used to play for clubs in the. Uh, in the Hillingdon League and uh, the uh, Thames Valley and uh, things like that. You can look him up, John H. Woolley. And um, wh one of the things about statues is uh, if uh, they want someone to appear as learned, they have a book in their hands. And that's true of paintings as well. And it's sort of code for, uh, you know, uh, something to do with the law or, um, uh, someone, someone who's who's learned anyway, and um, so this chap's got a, a book in his hand. It might be a prayer book. It might be a, a guide to Chorley Wood. Who knows? I just don't know. Isn't the nose magnificent? That sculpted very well, and whoever did it, um, thanks very much to him. It, unfortunately, this tree it's uh, carved out of is a bit rotten at the base. I don't know how long it'll be there, so. That's one reason why I'm filming it now. But anyway, uh, there we go. Onward and upward. Peter the Rock, Sunday the 14th of April. Like and subscribe. Cheers.